Light unseen by human eyes pours from the stars. But it's visible to ISO, the European Space Agency's new infrared space observatory. Instead of neat constellations, cosmic clouds of gas and dust fill ISO's sky. Too cool to shine, they radiate infrared light. In 1983, the joint US-UK Dutch satellite IRIS made these maps of the infrared sky. Now, ISO gives the world's astronomers a unique opportunity to examine the infrared universe in much more detail. While clouds on the Earth make raindrops, these cosmic clouds make new stars. ISO must find out how they do it. And around a star in the southern sky, a camera similar to the one on ISO has seen a ring of dust. Searching for other cases is an important ISO program because the Earth and other planets probably grew from such dust, swirling around the newborn sun. Dust that remains in the sun's neighborhood makes a bright circle around the infrared sky. It marks the route of the planets across the sky. ISO can analyze the atmosphere of Saturn and monitor the weather of Jupiter. The dust disk crosses another sky-encircling band made by the Milky Way galaxy. This matches the visible Milky Way, which glows across the sky, but it's grander by infrared light. Gas, dust and stars make a pancake seen in cross-section. And from its center, X-rays and radio waves bring rumors of a giant black hole agitating the core of our galaxy. Infrared rays can penetrate the dust much better than visible light. ISO will probe the activity near the mysterious center. Astronomers already blame giant black holes for turmoil in other galaxies, as revealed here by an infrared camera like ISO's. And the galaxies, vast collections of stars like the Milky Way, can become involved in traffic accidents. Their collisions can provoke bursts of activity. ISO's investigations aim to expose the complex and violent history of the galaxies. Among familiar stars that hang over the rooftops, a break in the infrared clouds allows ISO to search for the farthest and faintest galaxies. And here, ISO must also look out for brown dwarfs, very small stars that radiate only infrared light. Astronomers suspect that brown dwarfs swarm around the Milky Way galaxy. ISO's telescope sends the incoming rays to instruments perfected by multinational teams. The principal investigator for the camera is French and German for a second imaging device. And while a Dutchman supervised this spectrometer for analyzing short infrared wavelengths, a spectrometer for longer wavelengths comes from a British-led team. The spacecraft built in Europe has components from all of ESA's member states. Refrigeration was the big challenge. To see cool infrared objects in the sky, ISO must be colder than they are. A tank of superfluid helium surrounds the telescope and instruments. By letting the helium evaporate into space, ISO remains extremely chilled. After 18 months or so, when the helium runs out, so will the mission. Before then, ISO's scrutiny of the sun's outer planets, the stars and clouds of the Milky Way and the far-flung galaxies will help astronomers to say how the universe gave birth to our own galaxy and to the sun, the earth and the possibility of life.